Hi guys, uh, here's the other main project I've been working on lately. It's uh, an AC drive system for an electric car. Uh, sort of a very uh, lashed up prototype. It's a control board uh, that controls an inverter uh, power stage. A whole bunch of IGBTs, I think 22, uh, 22 IGBTs in parallel on each leg. This can run to about 360 volts at 300 amps. Uh, peak, as long as you can keep it cool and three phase goes up down here to uh, a motor generator set that's the AC motor which is the re which is a uh, rewound one horsepower uh, Lincoln electric motor I rewound that to run uh, it was originally 240 or 480 it's been rewound to run 24 volts nominal at 60 Hertz and it's coupled to a uh, 9 inch cost of sepex uh, DC motor as a generator, a uh, couple of chargers over there in power supply mode to run the field, and the armature connections supply power out back up here uh, through a diode onto the bus. So when the uh, motor goes fast enough, the generator generates enough voltage, and it just supplies the uh, supplies the power back onto the uh, inverter. So the power supplies over here only have to keep up with the losses. The control circuit consists of a uh, DSPIC uh, digital signal controller running um, pretty much an application note uh, software that Microchip released for AC induction motor vector control modified a bit um, so the field weakening works a little bit better so it actually looks at the output voltage and regulates the uh, field strength to get the maximum inverter output voltage. Uh, there's a connection going out here, that, those are the three phase gate drive signals going out to the uh, gate drive uh, card here with a bunch of some high side drivers and some uh, high current 14 amp buffers um, what else we got? We got a, on the motor down here there's uh, let's see if we can see this a uh, encoder to measure the speed that just wires run up uh, for here to a detector circuit Comparator and it's also current transistors, one on each, two on uh, A and C phases. And those run over to an uh, amplifier, and some uh, amplifier sends the signal to the uh, ADC. And there's a hardware comparator circuit that will shut the output down if overcurrent is detected, independent of the uh, micro. And I'm sure that has saved the uh, power stage numerous times. power stage consists of 132 uh, 12N60 IGBTs in parallel, also have internal diodes, uh, 20, as I said earlier, 22 per leg. That's good for about 450 amps uh, peak, 300, and, uh, 300 amps RMS approximately output per, uh, per phase. Yeah, they're just um, six they're stacks all the way across, clamped down uh, Little bits of probably difficult to see this, but there's little bits of uh, rubber underneath the um, between the board and the IGBTs, clamped down with uh, plastic screws. And there's a capped on film with uh, thermal conductive paste or a phase change material on each side to get the heat to the heat sink. There's also a temperature sensor so the micro knows what temperature the heat sink is at. Um, yeah, I don't really like how I built this. I built this uh, this power stage a while ago, and I wouldn't build another one like this. I'd use uh, mod individual large uh, IGBT bricks. It's this is way too much labor to assemble, and there's too much chance of a little speck of conductive debris piercing the uh, insulation under all the under one of all those FETs or IGBTs. I think that'll be the next project is to build a proper uh, power stage. Okay, let's give this thing a run. Turn on the DC bus, we're up to about 50 volts. And push the throttle on. There we go. We've got the uh, force cage mounted to an arm that's one foot radius out from the uh, shaft center. And we can see the uh, torque. It's 
zero torque, it's at about one, one and a half foot, uh, foot pounds. problem with noise on this uh, layout. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, we can get about uh, around 10 foot-pounds or so out of it with these uh, power supplies that supply about 40 amps. And we're generating, let's see, generating about 40 amps, 50 volts. So what power would that be? So 40 amps at 50 volts is uh, 2 kilowatts. That's a little bit less than uh, 3 horsepower. But that's I mean, not including the efficiency of the generator, it's probably a bit over 3 horsepower coming out of the motor. Now let's take a look at the waveforms. The uh, yellow is the gate drive to um, the A phase and purple is the output current measured by current sensor current uh, probe over here that's at 50 amps per division so let's start at DC and as we go up in frequency and eventually the voltage output voltage or current drops because we don't have enough voltage to uh, get the current any higher at that speed Now we're producing uh, 40 amps output on the generator. Hmm. Let's zoom in and look at it uh, triggering now. A little bit of waviness in the current, which I think is from the uh, slots of the uh, stator. As the magnetic field crosses, it's not totally even. You can see we're using, we're getting up pretty much to 100% duty cycle. We've got a feedback loop uh, looking at the uh, output voltage and regulating the magnetizing current to uh, keep the PWM peaks at about 100% to get the maximum possible use out of the inverter. Let's go for more power now. Pretty good sine wave, not the best. I need to probably adjust some of the uh, feedback loops. Uh, it's a bit, so I set it quite slow so it's stable. It's still using uh, pretty much 100% peak duty cycle. You can see the little sort of bits in the middle that that's, it's outputting a little bit of third harmonic, which again, uh, to maximize the possible use of the inverter. If you do the math, adding a bit of third, I think it's one sixth third harmonic. Uh, maximizes the uh, output voltage of the inverter for a given DC bus voltage. And now we're down to a range where it's in constant uh, magnetizing current and their PWM is less than 100% uh, of the peaks. Okay, let's see how much torque we can get out of this thing. I've uh, stalled the um, generator with the vice grip, and now we can turn on the power supplies and apply some power. That's pretty good. Let's see what kind of current we're getting. Pressure getting very low frequency, let's go to roll. Now that's a low frequency. And we're overloading the current probe too. Let's see what kind of torque we're getting out. You can subtract about one and a half from whatever the reading is. Oh, 
power supply gave out there. But about 24 foot pounds, 22 and a half foot pounds. And remember that this motor uh, normally puts out about 3 foot pounds. Uh, and it was a 1 horsepower 1725 RPM motor, so that's about 3 foot pounds nominal. So that's, a, that's a quite a bit of torque. And we're limited again by the power supplies. So we can get even more torque if there's more power. I hope you found <clears throat> I hope you found this video on the AC drive system interesting. Uh, if you want to know any more about it, want me to make another video or uh, go into how vector control works in more detail, please let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching.